Hi, I'm Paul Taylor. I'm the Community Football Manager for AFL North Coast and North West. I'm here today to talk to you about what an annual general meeting is. An annual general meeting, or AGM, is a meeting of the members of an incorporated association that must be held each year. AGMs are convened to conduct business required under the Association's Incorporation Act of 2009. This includes presenting the annual financial statements and other regular annual business, including electing committee members as may be required by the Association's constitution. The club's committee must ensure that an annual general meeting is held within six months after the close of the club's financial year, each year. A club must specify its financial year in its constitution, which is submitted to the Department of Fair Trading at the time of incorporation. A club's constitution must specify the manner of calling an AGM and the way notice of the AGM is to be given. The notice of the meeting should specify that the meeting is the AGM. Most constitutions state that members must be given at least 14 days notice of an AGM or 21 days notice if a special resolution is to be proposed. The notice of meeting must specify the place, date and time of the meeting, the nature of the business to be transacted at the meeting and if a special resolution is to be proposed, the notice must set out terms of the resolution and a statement to the effect the resolution is intended to be passed as a special resolution. Your club can deal with ordinary business plus any other business known as special business listed in the notice to members. The club's constitution may specify the ordinary business to be conducted at the AGM and may also specify rules for the special business to be conducted at the end of the AGM. The business of an AGM is normally to confirm the minutes of the last AGM and of any special general meeting held since that meeting, receive from the committee reports on the activities of the club during the last financial year, elect or appoint office bearers and ordinary members of the committee as determined by the constitution, receive the financial statements or reports, which must be done at the AGM, and conduct any other business of which notice has been given to the members. When voting on resolutions, your club needs to follow its constitution and any requirements in the Act. All clubs, regardless of what their constitutions say, must pass a special resolution for certain types of decisions, such as changing the association's constitution. Special resolutions require at least 75% of members present and eligible to vote in favour of a resolution. The club's constitution may set out the procedures for proxy voting, direct voting and voting methods. Voting methods may include a show of hands, a poll or a vote in writing and a secret ballot. Requirements vary depending on state, territory of operation and the annual turnover of the club. The majority of clubs within one month after the AGM or no later than seven months after the end of the financial year must lodge the following with fair trade. An annual summary of financial affairs and payment of the prescribed lodgement fee and late fee if applicable. Failure to properly lodge the annual summary means an association will be guilty of an offence and liable to penalty. For more information, visit the Department of Fair Trading or the AFL New South Wales ACT website. Thank you for your time and happy AGMing.